Hey there, so welcome to this a module and in this module, we're going to look at cloud concepts and getting started with OCI, that's Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. My name is Atul Kumar and I'll be walking you through lessons within this module. So first, as I said in the welcome video, you made the best decision by registering for this course, which is 10932 Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Architect Certification. This OCI is the base for pretty much every application that runs on Oracle Cloud. So we have hundreds of successful candidates who have cleared the certification. And this is a few of them here, which is to inspire you. These are the guys who have gone through the certification program and successfully cleared and are also now working with various companies in, in different part of the world. So make sure that you have an objective to clear the certification over next eight to 10 weeks. And if you need any help with that respect, let us know. Or if you're feeling stuck, let us know that about that as well. Also, this course is going to be job oriented focused. So whatever we actually do in implementation, we'll be sharing those experiences as well in this course. So let's first begin with what the topics or what module agenda is going to be, what lessons or topics we are going to cover in this module. We'll first begin with cloud computing overview, where we'll understand what are the characteristics or properties of cloud computing. Then we'll look at cloud service model. And this is the first and most basic thing you should know. And there are three of these service models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Then we'll look at Oracle infrastructure as a service. Within that, Oracle has two deployment models, OCI and OCI Classic. Now, as of July 2019, the Classic is primarily for clouded customer, which is a, another deployment model of cloud, which is putting cloud at a customer premises. So that has OCI Classic and some old customers are doing OCI Classic. Any new implementations or any new services are all going on to OCI and slowly whatever is OCI Classic will be migrated to OCI. So we'll look at differences between these two in this lesson. Then we'll look at OCI uses with what all places being OCI being used. And you will see lots and lots of example where customers are using OCI or what all applications run on top of OCI. Then OCI has a lot of services. And in this lesson, we are going to look at high level overview of that. But in subsequent modules, each topic or each of these services will have a detailed explanation. So with things like identity and access management, networking, compute, different type of storage, two different main categories of databases, which is user managed and autonomous, edge services, security within OCI, and then how data migrate from on-premise to cloud or within from one cloud to another cloud or from cloud to one service to another service within cloud. Then we look at tenancy. What does the tenancy mean? Then what is a region means? Again, as of July 2019, there are our seven regions and, and different continents. So we'll look at that and Oracle is adding more and more. So we'll look at that region. What does it mean? How does is it important to you? Then each region can have up to three availability domain. Some have one, some have three. So what does availability domain mean? And what does fault domain mean? Fault domain is then each availability domain has three fault domains. So we'll look at fault domain as well. Then what are the different interfaces on which you can access OCI? So things like console, you have a graphical user interface console, or you have a software development kit to access, or command line interface to access, or you have REST APIs. And REST is a web service implementation or invocation method of APIs application programming interface. Then you have a automation tool like Terraform or Ansible. Then we also going to look at the different type of dashboards or different dashboards. You have my services dashboard, you have Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Home or OCI console and different consoles. If you're working like for database, there is a different console. Uh, so we'll look at those consoles. Then we'll look at step-by-step -step hands on guide. And one of the most important thing we focus is lots and lots of hands on. So each module will have hands on lab. And in this module, we are going to look at how do you register for Oracle public cloud trial account so that you can use these steps in subsequent modules to practice. So we'll have a video as well as step by step guide to prepare for this hands on. And then finally, each module will also have certification exam questions related to that topic. So with getting started, what all questions you might expect in the exam and make sure you understand these questions, 
why we are given that answer there should be explanation as well so each module will have them will finish or wrap up this module with exam questions so this is all topics we are going to cover in this particular module and as we move into the modules you will see subsequent mod or topics in each of these modules or follow-up modules so in next lesson we are going to look at cloud overview and concepts so we'll look at what are these characteristics or properties of cloud computing and then we'll look at three different cloud service models software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service so head on to the next lesson where we will look at the cloud concepts and overview of cloud and three service models i'll see you in next lesson